Hey, what's up? This is Chosen. Happy Monday to you. It is time to get the week kicked off here for Raid Shadow Legends. We have got Clan vs. Clan starting tomorrow. We've also got, obviously, some crazy 10Xs to coincide with CVC for those people that are going to be pulling shards for extra points during Clan vs. Clan. So we are going to get you all caught up on what you need to know for heading into the week. Let's get into it. Alrighty, so first of all, they do CBC every other Tuesday, which means that tomorrow we are due for another clan versus clan match. Now, they did say in the announcements a few days ago that this CBC will not have personal rewards as part of it. And now we got to jump into the 10X that is going to be going on that coincides with it. And they are actually going to be pretty nuts. We are getting two arguably top 10 legendaries in the game in Kaimar and Warlord. Now, the way it's going to work is the first day of CBC. CBC is going to be Tuesday and Wednesday. The first day of CBC, you are going to have a 10x for getting Prince Kaimar from Ancient Shards. And then on the second day of CBC, there's going to be a 10x event for a Void Legendary in Warlord. And I don't really think either one of these champions need a robust introduction. They are both legacy champions, which means they have been in the game since release. And they are two of the uh, most popular and best legendaries in the game. Kaimar, obviously famous because of his ability to reset all ally skills. But he's also insane in the arena because he has this 30% speed aura and also the AoE buff strip and everything going on with his kit. So obviously Kaimar is ridiculous. And then with Warlord, a similar story. Everybody knows why he is amazing. You've got the AOE 100% booked up chance to put a target's or uh, each target's skills on cooldown and also fully deplete their turn meter. One of the best abilities in the game, especially somewhere like the arena, uh, an immunity set or anything like that can't stop this. So uh, you're just going to blast through uh, turn meters and make them useless as they have all of their skills on cooldown. Not only that, he does heals, block debuffs, shielding, and also decreasing more turn meter on the A1. So uh, Warlord and Kaim are both insane champions. As far as should you be pulling or not, uh, obviously for these 10Xs, it always comes down to you and your account, your spending tier and all of that. I think for high spenders, this is a great 10X because uh, you've got an increased chance to get Kaimar or Warlord. 10Xs are nowhere near as good of odds as you would think they are on paper. But uh, obviously, if you're a high spender and you have an opportunity to get an increased chance of getting one of the best legendaries in the game, that would be a good opportunity. I do think for some of you lower and mid-tier spenders that are more in the progression phase of your account, as always on the channel, I recommend that you should probably lean towards pulling your shards during 2X events instead of these 10Xs. But uh, that, that can change if you are close to your mercy. Like if you're 190 ancient shards in until you're going to hit mercy, then yeah, maybe YOLO a few and, and hope to get a Kaimar. Same thing with void shards. It's kind of a, it's kind of a, if you're a high spender or if you are close to your mercy system, then I think this is a pretty decent spot to pull, especially if you don't have a Kaimar or a warlord on your account yet. And as we head into the Lonathero Fusion, we are going to be coming to a close of this week on that. You can see that right now we are here on Monday, August 15th. And the last things to wrap up the Fusion are going to be a Fire Knight tournament on a Tuesday. And then we're going to have Dungeon Divers coinciding with the Fire Knight with Artifact Enhancement bringing it home starting around the same time as the Fire Knight tournament. But we'll go over some of this stuff in game. But hopefully uh, those of you going after Lonathero have kept pace with the Fragments. And then this week we're going to wrap that up by friday plus also as we wrap up this fusion they typically do these things about once a month so you'll see that this lasts uh, about two weeks uh, two solid weeks then it's like a week off and then they start teasing the next fusion typically so uh in, in 2021 they did 13 fusions so these things happen about exactly at once a month pace so we can already expect the next fusion to at least start being teased internally or, or some sort of way uh to get a preview of what they're going to be already here in like 10 to 15 days probably as far as the stuff going on in game for tournaments and events, right now we have got a spider tournament that does have a void shard up for grabs. Now, uh, you're only going to be able to use champions from the demon spawn for this, but whenever we see a special tournament where we can get a void shard guaranteed on the right side, I do think that's probably worth it if you could put together a realistic team for this. I will probably try to get a dedicated video out later this afternoon here in a few hours to discuss some of the best options to go about this spider tournament because I will definitely do it personally to scoop up my void shard for sure. Uh, you are also going to be getting the Fire Knight 
tournament starting tomorrow, like we saw in the Fusion calendar, and that will be part of some fragments you want to prepare to dive in and get. And then under the events tab, the Dungeon Divers going to be coinciding with that Fire Knight to double dip a little bit, and also make sure that you are doing your champion training today, because this is going to end. If you're going after the Fusion, you've got to get this today. Champion training, a big thing you want to focus on to get to your 9350, and make sure you're keeping pace with all of the fragments you're going to need. And then, like I said, we've got one of the, uh, one of the events that are going to bring home the event and finish it up in the Artifact Enhancement event starting tomorrow. Some other quick stuff uh, before we dive into the offers. Uh, the clan quests are going to be refreshing today, so make sure you dive in to your clan quests and get those done. Also, you've got a day and a half left on the Hydra, so make sure you get in and spend those keys. We are approaching the uh, the back half of the Doom Tower. I think well, we, we're already in the back half. Uh, so we're coming up on the last week of the Doom Tower. Start focusing on those secret rooms a little bit so you don't have to clear them all the last few days. And also make sure you are getting your Tag Team Arena and everything in order. Order because uh, that can be a big source of points for CVC. You might want to put like a one person defense, start dropping down a little bit so you can farm some easier points with the launch of CVC tomorrow because it's a huge source. Then we can fire up the shop and see if there's anything worth going over. Also, by the way, uh, over on RaidShadowPro.gg, I listened to your input, and we have got a reset button plus cleaned up a, a couple random bugs kind of occurring. So you can put in like a thousand energy right here, and then instead of having to do anything, you can simply click reset and go about uh, plugging in different offers. You guys left a lot of comments talking about how that would be a great feature, and we met up over the weekend and got that implemented for you over there on the website. I link to that down below if you ever want to pull up the offer calculator uh, and, and plug these uh, things in yourself here. But uh, we already did the privilege pack; it is uh, pretty good, uh, and you've got a long time to decide on this. You do get the resources over time, but for spenders on raid, I do think the privilege pack is one you would want to consider uh monthly great deal mix is not great i don't really recommend that uh the chained offer so i can at least tell you how it starts here we've got the 850 and then the energy refills of five of them and ends up being 564 so yeah not a good start on the chained offer typically they're like bad bad and then a good offer so uh they're not usually super worth it. They're mostly just meh. Uh, the skin for 25, we know the drill there, and the faction accessories. So uh, really, the only thing I would recommend is the privilege pack uh, from what I'm seeing here in the shop today. And on the way out, make sure you have seen the uh, the newest iteration of the Death Knight Saga with uh, Deadwood Jedi. Lots of fun, really cool video there. Uh, everyone's done a great job. Hell Hades uh, had an awesome video with Death Knight as well. Ash uh, had a really good interview with Cirilla. So really cool to see that the, uh, the community engagement from Plarium side is really ramping up. This is the most community engagement we've ever seen from them on a consistent basis. Like they had the Death Knight interview with me, then they had the one with Hell Hades, then they had the Cirilla interview with Ash, then they have a Death Knight video with Deadwood, and I believe there's a couple more coming as well. So we're gonna pop off like, you know, five community promotion type things in game. And that is, uh, that's never happened before. So hopefully they, they keep up the pace on that because it's lots of fun getting more and more interaction between the, uh, the in-game side of things and the community as well. So, uh, Anyway, have a, uh, have a great start to your week. Good luck in CVC tomorrow. And if you're going to be yodeling shards for Kaimar or Warlord, good luck. I know for me personally, I'm not going to be going after either one. I'm lucky enough to already have a Kaimar and a Warlord. Uh, so I'm not going to be you know spending, you know, going hard in the paint to pull shards or anything. Um, but it's going to depend on your account. I do think for most of you, the 2X, like I said, is probably the route to go. But let me know what you think down below in the comments. Uh, I really enjoy when that becomes a resource for people to share opinions as well and, and interact and share your thoughts on things. So anyway, uh, as always, thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe on your way out if you enjoy daily Raid Shadow Legends content. And I We'll see you soon in the next video. Peace.